Let's see how it goes. One, two, three. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's not good there. Uh, we are putting in a boiler. I believe it's just a single zone boiler, so fairly simple. But we don't really realize the troubles that we might have to really get out there and, you know, assess it. But, uh, we're hoping for a good day today. Had a decent job, you know. Keep us all busy. Make someone happy. That's what it's all about. Tires are that heavy. Things heavy. One of the tires is flat. Yeah, why don't we regrip this thing? We're yeah. getting that right now. Why you put a little wind in that tire though? That was low. Oh yeah. That was bad. Max pressure on the tires, guys. When it blows. <laughs> Stop it right before it pops. Keep your face close. Keep your face close. I've blown up one of these before. What was They're it at, Jack? Fifteen. 15 and you're putting 50 in it? Yeah. Does it need 50? That's what it says. Max, <laughs> Max is fit. Tires are pretty small, man. Uh, don't forget. Good. Oh, there it goes. I got air. Sure? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Liver Mirror. The tires are uh, up. Oh, of course. I hear a bunch of these. <laughs> <laughs> I hate these things. Ready to start our day. Safety first. <laughs> no hitting our head today. Yeah, buddy. It's gonna be a good day. Today is a big massive boiler, which I dread doing. I think I say that every video. But, um, <laughs> they're just heavy, you know, so it's like a three guy process. As much as you could hope it's a two guy, but somebody's gonna get hurt carrying it down or taking the whole one out. So we're putting a boiler in today. It's a single zone with a with a coil, so that means uh, does the hot water as well. Um, so we're hoping we could hump today and get it in and out, so we don't have to come back tomorrow. Because we had a meeting this morning, so we're late. But I hope we're good. We can get out of here today at a decent hour. Drain oil down. We cut the oil out. We'll probably nipple that through again. Yeah. Put the oil over here now, like we did on the last boiler, right? Mm -hmm. But the only difference with this boiler is we have a domestic coil. So we're going to do a mixing valve with all the shutoffs and the drains and all this right here on the side of the boiler. Okay. So, and then you pipe it to your coil. Look at it, it's not the newest of uh, boilers. Um, it's definitely, you know, probably past its life expectancy. Um, you know, you look at these circulators, these actually have to be oiled by you know either the company that services it or the homeowner itself. Um, you can see down here their primary control was pulled off and it wasn't really put on correctly the same way. So actually when this gets oiled, it was dripping into this primary control. It could burn stuff out, it could cut stuff off, you know. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that could happen with that. Um, when we were originally out here, we also noticed that where you are able to clean the boiler, things were not put back correctly. Um, so you look at stuff like this, and you yeah. see this furnace cement. It's for porous concrete, it bonds the concrete very well. On metal, not so much. On this metal, yes, it'll it'll stay to it and it'll adhere to it. But on like metal that gets, you know, 400, 500 degrees, it kind of gets brittle, it cracks. They actually, you know, put some in there. So it's not really, you know, the way you do things. Yeah. Um, so there was a lot of issues with this. And how old is it? Uh, if I had to guess, it's probably about 30, right? You think 30, I, 40? I found a date that said 71, but that's when it was serviced. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely, the 70s, definitely, it may be original to the house, 
but um, yeah, it's, it's definitely probably past its life expectancy, so everything was kind of, you know, the way things were done as far as servicing, they were trying to prolong the life of it and, and things like this, you know, when you try to prolong the life of it, it might actually cause either more problems or safety issues for the homeowner, so mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of things that come into play with that stuff. There's this little port right here that gets oiled. Um, there was another spot on the front here that gets oiled. And then for the actual oil burner itself, for the, uh, the fan and stuff, the, the uh, turbine, if you want to call it in there, it's, uh, you, you gotta oil everything. The way, that's the way everything's made back in the day, so. Nothing had bearings and packed grease or anything, so it's, you know, more, you gotta maintain everything yourself. So with an older style like this, you know, they may last long if you take care of them, but this one definitely uh, is on its way out, so. Boy. No, a lot of water. So yeah, I mean, that was what was in the expansion tank. Yep. So the expansion tank probably went bad a while ago. <laughs> Warm in here. I thought it was rainy and cold. That's why I wore all of these layers yeah, and under armor. Under armor. Right. You alright? Yeah. No, we're good. I mean, it got my shirt. No, I thought but... it got your face. <laughs> no, it's just a shirt. Uh, we're just draining all the water out of the uh, boiler. It makes it lighter and a lot easier to get out of the basement here. Mm -hmm. um, just want to watch this and make sure the drain's not backing up so we don't uh, get a bunch of water in our basement. Hey, you know what I had the other day? What's that? I got was we were gonna get in the shower and I was downstairs working out. Yeah. And oh, man, and I turned just like when I look in the mirror, there's a big spider right on my hip. Dude, a uh, black one. Not Dude. Even, I'm like. <laughs> I, like, I would have done the same thing. Story or I would have, like, I would have like, like. Yeah, where did it come from? When did it get there? How long has it been on me? Like, <laughs> oh, I got the heebie-jeebies just thinking about it. That was all on camera, by the way. So. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. Alright, you're dropping onto the ramp? Yeah, we're gonna have a... Uh, we're just gonna go for it, or what? Well, we have to go slow, because this thing's gonna hit the mud and... Oh, it's gonna dig right on. in, yeah. Alright. Ready? Yep, you have to get past the edge. Let me get back there and pull. No, I'm just taking a break. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want to push too hard on you. You're going across the patio or what? It's leg day. Leg day. Be sore later day. Paint it back towards us when you go on the rubber. Just don't pull towards that way, Jack. With the strap. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just paint it back. All right. Yeah, we're off that wheel. <laughs> Kevin's just lifting right up off the wheel. We're going to have to like pick, just like deadlift. Yeah, but you can't wheel. lift too far because you're going to pull it off the hand track. Yeah. So you always got to remember if you lift the from the bottom. Bottom strap on the bottom. Probably. Or two. We'll let it roll past the first step. You're going to the third step. Okay. Fourth step. Fifth step. You got one more step and then the ground. We got the weight of it, Jay. Yeah, Jack, stand right up. The ground. You're gonna kill your back. Trying not. Alright, we're on the ground. Yeah, we're on the ground. Alright, now, give, so I don't have to lift all the weight here. No, no, hold on, hold on. We're gonna stand straight up. Yeah. Ready? Alright. Okay. Yeah, I just lift all the weight. No, yeah, absolutely. You're an awkward position. When you're squatting like that and you got a lot of pressure coming towards you, you, you there could yeah. be, you could get pinched on the floor yeah, too. Right. You don't wanna do that.
Tapia. Yeah, that's not good there. These steps are good. Alright, so let's just walk, wander it down one more step. We'll throw this off the side. One. Alright, uh, uh, Jerry, where are we with the job? Nowhere. Um, <laughs> 10 30, uh, I don't know. I guess we're not doing too bad. We're going to mount the new unit in place. Start Look at how we're gonna start piping things in. You said it shouldn't go bad. It's only a single zone house, so it should go rather quick. The bigger issue is that big thing. I don't know how we're gonna get that out of it. I mean, three guys tried to bring it upstairs. It didn't work. So. All everybody that works in the company. Yeah. <laughs> like we were saying before, it's gonna be a nice ornament in the basement. So, no, we don't do that. <laughs> we'll have to figure a plan a way to to get it out of here. That's all. It's not gonna be a fun day. We will see. Till the next chapter. some pipe dope and thread sealant on some of the pieces of pipe that we have to put in the boiler. So make sure that there will be no leaks and also the chance of cross threading is kind of, you know, possibility when you don't uh, prep everything correctly. So we just got to make sure that we got enough, uh, it makes it thread on a lot easier because when you get like a little piece of, from the factory, like a little piece of metal in the threads, it'll very easily send you off track. And, give you an issue when you're trying to fill yeah. the boiler and uh, you don't want that. You don't want water all over the place so. 